yo, yo, what's going on, everybody? This is your man, Spaceman Stu, a.k.a. the Black Fiend, Black Phoenix Productions. You're tuned in to the UAP radio show, the Underground Apocalypse podcast show, where we take the underground word and turn it upside down to the surface. It is Friday, and y'all already know what we in here doing. We live for the five, the five-minute fickle, that is. But we in here with a special, we out here with a special guest uh, this evening. As you see it, I've been telling y'all over and over and over, if you want some good food at a great price and you want to everything you eat, Los is all the cooking. Three Brothers Catering, you see the number. But we out here with the man himself, the, the, the entrepreneur, the creator, the owner, the man who sees the vision, Mr. Los himself. How you doing this evening, my brother? Doing great, doing great, doing great, man. Glad to be out here in the, uh, front of the food truck with my business, man, and glad to be interviewed by such a brilliant young man. I, I, I appreciate it, man. But, but the respect is all given to you, man, especially for this food, man. So let me let me ask you this, man. What made you get into into to cooking and wanting to cater, cater to the community? <clears throat> well, it all started, man. Uh, we just used to have cookouts in the backyard, and I used to get so many compliments. And uh, one day my god brother was like, Hey man, we need to sell this. Right. We need to we need to put this in production. So you know we started a little bit at a time, man. We we got a little bit of a little bit here, a little bit there, and it all started coming together, man. And uh, we've been up and we've been down, man. And, and you know, uh, uh, all our customers appreciate everything we do, and they love the the uh, special attention that we give to the food. So you know we didn't come a long way come a long way. So so what made you uh, in that process want to call it the Los Cesar Cooking and Three Brothers Catering? Well, we have a we have a barbershop. It's already Three Brothers Barbershop. So we want to build the brand. Just like Mike started out with just the tennis shoes. Right. He got the jump man. Then he Put on the suits and the, and the uh, sports wear. Right, right, right. That's that's where we that's where we got uh, got that from. We were building the brand, you know. So it, it's just not about association with the cooking. Then you know, three brothers is everything. You know what I'm saying? So, so what what separates you know your food from from everybody else's food? What's unique about your food, and why should people come to Los Artes Cooking? I learned how to cook from my grandmother. There's nothing my grandmother didn't show me. I can make anything. I can make any. There's nothing that I can't make. I bake, uh, make gravies from scratch. I learned how to do everything from my grandmother. Uh, I, I'm, I have friends that's uh, the chefs. I can make whatever they make. I didn't go to school. I can make whatever they make. And they, they associate me with them. So, so it was more, more like a, like it was home trained. Like you can't get this training no, oh, nowhere oh else. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> Especially because because it'd be recipes and stuff that you know the older older people are cooking. They'd be like, man, this tastes good. Right? How'd you make it? Right. They'll tell you how to make it, but it don't taste like that. They left out that secret ingredient. That's true. That's true. So you know all the secret ingredients to everything. I kn- I know what my grandmother taught. I ain't nothing wrong with that. Yeah, yeah. So um, let me ask you this: what um, what benefit do you think? you're able to do to the community or for the community having your business open and operation in the community? Well, in Cleveland County, I'm, I'm just focused on Cleveland County for now. Right. There's no black restaurant. We, we don't even, we can't even go buy food from a person that looks like us. So that's my goal. I want to feed my people, show them that we can compete with the McDonald's, the Burger Kings, the fats, places like that. Good food. Yes, sir. Across the board. Yes, sir. There's nothing wrong with that. Well, um, the last thing I want to ask you, man, um, what is your, your, your overall goal? What do you see uh, Three Brothers Catering and the Los Artes Cooking, especially from everything that you've done up until this point to get? Matter of fact, before I ask that, how did you get to this point? What was your, that journey like? It was, it was a long journey. Uh, like I said, we started from cooking for each other in the backyard to servicing people and that's I mean it is it was multiple steps that we took you know we uh, got a grill uh, we got all the utensils that we need to cater uh, it was a long process but uh, 
we got to where we are now. And we think we got the best product in the land. Yeah. And uh, as far as um, where I want to take it to, we also make our own wine. Yeah, we got a we got a um, we got a wine club called Time to uh, Taste the Wine. We make our own wine, and that's where we want to go to. Where we come from here, inside the building, where we serving our own food and serving our own wine. The whole nine beverages, yes, everything. Yes, from the rooter to the tutor. The whole thing. Don't yes. waste nothing. Yes. <laughs> yes. I can dug it, my brother. Yeah. I, I, I definitely see the vision, man, and, and I, I definitely want to help as much as possible to make yes, the sir. vision. You've been a great, great, great help, man, and I really appreciate both of y'all, man. That's that's the God's honest truth, man. We appreciate you, man, for everything that you're doing. Uh, let let the people know what you have on the menu and what people can come get, come and eat. <laughs> you can come get. A hot dog plate, that's served with fries, two hot dogs and a fries. You can get a cheeseburger plate, that's a uh, cheeseburger with fries. We got Philly cheese steak with fries. We got a uh, fish plate. We also got a uh, uh, pork chop plate. That comes with pork chops, uh, rice, and uh, bread. So we got, we got it all for you now. Uh, if you want to make a special request, other than what's on the menu, let me know. We also cook uh, dinner for uh, Sunday meals. You call two days in advance. I'll bring it to you on Sundays. Yeah. Special delivery. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing wrong with it. You got you gonna have the wings too. Yeah. The, the wing, that, hey, I'm gonna tell y'all. The wings, man. I ain't, I ain't gonna explain no more. The, the wings. Y'all better get some of the wings. Six different Homemade flavors. Homemade sauce. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Six different oh, flavors. Y'all seen how I did earlier? You know how pops, pops work. <laughs> I'm telling you. <laughs> Good food. Good food. Yeah. But uh, man, I appreciate you uh taking the time, man. Y'all definitely come out here and get the food, man. Y'all see the number. Y'all see everything, man. 213 North Piedmont Avenue, Kings Mountain, North Carolina. That's the only place you can get. Three Brothers Catering, the low water cooking, fresh food, cook right fresh in front of you. That's all you want. Thank you, brother. No problem at all. <laughs> all right.